Why are men and women politics so different? Now it has come to my attention that women and men approach logic differently. Also, sometimes, often I might say, come to very different conclusions. So I take it back to a fruit. Now I think I've covered almost everyone, including Christian, <coughs> evangelist Christian, Muslim, Jew, Buddhist, Hindu, Sikh, environmentalist, vegetarian, creationist, animal writers, abstentionist, agnostic, etc, etc, etc. I am sorry, there, there are one, one section of the community I was unable to include, and maybe I would include them in a later story down the road about Cain and Abel. <coughs> My argument is that it's all God's fault. It's all God's fault. After all, he started all of this. Why are men logic, women's logic so different? Why are men have a different understanding of the same problem? Well, it's all God's fault. That's right, he said. He's, it is his fault. How can that be? Well, in the beginning, God created the world, populating it with plants, animals, to eat the plants and each other, and insects to bite them all. He created the fish of the sea to do the same, and finally birds of the air to eat the insects and other things as well, and looked down on them all, and he sat back pleased with his heaven. <clears throat> then, he came, then he gave them life, so they could seem to do these things to each other, and he then he was well pleased. Then, then as he admired his handiwork, he said, I know, I'll do myself a favour, create a wonderful little creation of me. So it came to pass, God created Adam and put him to work in the garden of Eden. So he would have plenty to eat as he was a vegetarian. That way he would not affect the rest of the world and, and the plants and animals and birds. And they could be peacefully ignorant of man and the Lord gave thanks. So as time passed, so it was that Adam got bored and was not committed in the garden. And the Lord knows and said, Oh, bugger, thought the Lord. He's getting bored and complacent. So the Lord thought, I'll give him a companion to give him company. So I'll make it different to him, so as to put a bird under his saddle. Should keep him occupied for quite a while when he tried to figure that one out. So it was, easy female came to be and was rented unto Adam from Adam. Adam was not interested, he just said, What the bloody hell? Don't I have enough to do looking after your garden of Eden without another mouth to feed? Please, God, do me no more favours. <coughs> but Eve was a little smarter than Adam and the damn side more inquisitive and intelligent. Oh, in some ways, anyway. Something the Lord was going to regret and with everything else. I was on the planet in time to come. But Adam was happy with his garden and can be blissfully unaware of his potential. Eve, on the other hand, was a bit more aware and organized and decided to investigate. So he went all over all around the garden till she finally found this tree. Not a very pretty tree, or a very big tree, but it does have absolutely lovely, delicious looking low hanging fruit. So she came to Adam and told him to try something. So he did not spend much time, so he would not spend so much time in the garden. But Adam said, but Adam said, no, the Lord said we shall not eat the fruit of a tree. We will be filled with the seeds of knowledge, seeds of knowledge. And we all know what that means. He even said, he said, where does it lead? Adam said, I don't know. It can't be good. The Lord said so. But even but Eve, Eve was not about to be put, <coughs> be put up. He wanted Adam to try the fruit. Put off if he wanted Adam to try the fruit. So he spent more time with her and not the bloody garden. So it was, they tasted the fruit of the tree for the first time. 
and finding it absolutely delicious and enjoyable. Adam said to me, that's so good. Oh, why haven't we done that before? Can we do that again? The Lord looked down and was not well pleased, saying to himself, oh, bugger, they've been at it. Couldn't they not just got a really good grip on themselves and had some self-control? They soon be many, and they will not, not just, they will just not obey my rules in the garden. They will have knowledge and understanding. I will not tolerate this in my garden. They will eat me out of the garden. I will not have them live on my, my charity. I am throwing them out of the garden. So they were turned out. And Eve said, Oh, bugger, more work for me. I will have to do more organising and managing of everything. I will have to feed and raise the little ones as well. Adam said, What are the little ones? And he said, Oh, why could the Lord not be more generous? So it was, there's soon lots of Adams and Eve popping up all over the planet, like plagues of rabbits. And all of the plants and the creatures and the birds cried out, wailing and gnashing of teeth, complaining to the Lord, Please, 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 Lord, could you not have had more mercy on all of us? So ended the lesson.